Hi KMS, this is the advanced code, AKA the code on slide six. Uh, not required for your interactive game, but it will make your game tons of fun. Um, basically what this is, is it's gonna go on a third sprite and allow that your character that moves with the arrow keys to be able to control this third sprite because it's gonna find the location and it's gonna glide to that location, right? So basically what it's saying here is that it's all the time it's gonna follow um, a sprite around. So it's going to go to the location, both in the X and Y, of a, another sprite. Um, it may need to go in front or behind it a little bit, so that's why we use this operator um, here. If you press a key, like the space key, maybe you want to throw that object. So it's going to glide across the screen. So in this case, it's going to glide to the right. That's why our X is 500. And it's going to line up, um, up and down, where that uh, first sprite is. So let me demo that. So basically my game has this beetle and Frank. So I'm going to add another sprite. So to do that, um, first I'm going to save. I'm going to just save now as um, advanced code just so I know what this is. Advanced slide six. All right, so I'll save here. So let me bring in another sprite on the bottom right here. I'm going to choose one from the library, um, and maybe I throw bananas. Right? So these bananas, I want these bananas to follow the character that moves with the arrow keys. In this case, it would be my beetle, right? So I'm going to um, write a code on the banana, so on the third sprite. I'm going to say when the green flag is clicked, let me just zoom in. Um, this is always going to happen, so I'll use a forever, and I'll use an if else right? I always want it to follow the beetle around. So under motion, you can actually have it go to, um, like, go here, right? But if I did that, do you see how my bananas are right on top of the beetle? That's not going to work, right? So we have to understand, like, what this really is. So what this is saying to do is it's saying to go to a certain location, right? So I'm going to stick this go to in here. You don't care what these numbers are because we're about to change them. Um, we're gonna have to change them by adding or subtracting. So I would say add for both, right? So under operators, I'm grabbing out the addition and I'm putting that in um, both the X and the Y. And under sensing, you have to scroll down. It's kind of weird. It's hard to find. It's the fourth one up from the bottom and it says background of stage. But we're actually going to change that to be the beetle and not the backdrop, but the X position. And I'm going to drag that in here. Okay, I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller. I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to make it the Y position of the beetle and drag it in there. So now my code is doing the same thing that it was doing before, but it's just doing it a different way. This is going to allow me to move it over. I want to move it in front of the beetle, so I'm going to add some number. I don't know what that number is. Um, 50 doesn't look like it's big enough. 80? Anyway, uh, 100. So now I'll, oh, it's like right, it's too far in front. So again, 80 seems perfect. So now the bananas are in front of the beetle. Um, they're still going to follow it around. I want to throw the bananas at Frank, right? When I hit this button, the space key, I want it to fly across the screen. So that's gliding. So I know that, like, if I press the key space, right, if I press that space card button on my keyboard, I want it to fly. I want it to glide. So I'm going to say I want it to glide across. I want it to go all the way over here. So I'm going to, like, shoot to the right. So I'm going to make this, like, a positive, a really big positive, like 500. And then again, like I can go under sensing and I can just say like for this purpose, I want it to be in the position of where my player one is. So this would work. So now I'll just run my code. I'm able to move around. I'm able to throw it. Right? And then when my timer has stopped, it says how many points I earned and it stops everything. Now, what I might want to do is I might want to go back and actually only make it so I earn points when the bananas touch Frank, not when um, 
So I have to see where that code is. This is where it would be helpful if I labeled things. So I'm earning points on the beetle. So maybe it's when, instead of being on the beetle, I'm gonna move this to be on the bananas, right? So when the bananas touch rank, that's when I have it. I'll leave it for now because we're gonna talk about this in class, but yeah. So here is the code that was due today. The extra, by all means, you don't have to do it, but I think it's cool. Um, then you can like throw things. Um, so as long as it's school appropriate, have at it. Happy coding, KMS. Remember to save often. All right, check out that cheat sheet for the code. Um, hopefully this video walked you through it and I can't wait to see your stuff. Thanks.